Um, and this uh, lesson series is going to be about abaziak, so trees. And uh, this here is an abazi, it's a tree. <laughs> uh, so multiple abazi will be abaziak. Um, and it's got the AK ending again because they're alive. And I'm doing this lesson for Nidokan, which is my older brother, uh, because he is a Nod Kwahid. Uh, Nod Kwahid, or Nod Kwahid. Um, and that's a tree cutter or a woodworker. And uh, the Nod uh, comes from the root word for profession. It also comes from the root word for hearing or to hear. And this particular um, Abazi, Masqua Mozi, um, and this isn't squa uh, as in female, it's mas qua mozi. Uh, and this is a birch tree. And multiple birch trees would be mas qua uh, moziak, mas qua moziak. And very specifically to this mas qua mozi is uh, mas qua, which is this, um, this spark right here. Um, and so that is going to be called, sorry, it's going to be called mas qua. And um, essentially, um, and this masqua um, is very specific. Um, masqual, um, masqual would be um, like uh, multiple birch bark uh, pieces. Um, and so this particular uh, word for bark is for any tree that has thin bark. Um, so you would use masqua for birch bark, of course, but also for um, thin bark, uh, thin tree bark. Um, like if it's wasabi, wasabi. So you would use this um, maybe in reference to cherry tree bark as well. Masquazi menakwam. And um, and then you can see there that that's a different um, word. So that's going to be for cherry tree or a wild cherry tree. So we have masquamozi or masquamoziak, which is going to be birch tree and birch trees. And then we have masqua or masquaal which is going to be birch bark or pieces of birch bark. Masqua moziak is, um, is going to be alive, so this tree is alive. But when the bark is off of the tree, um, it's masqua, masqual. And so that al ending, of course, for the plural is going to signify that it's, um, it's not alive anymore. So, And the greenery that's around it is not part of the birch, so just try to ignore that, um, if you will. It's just the background tree. <laughs> um, and so this is going to be a cut tree. And so the root word for cut is either tm, tm, or tem, tem, or tam, which would be tom. Um, and so it's tm, or tem, or tom. Um, and so um, that those root those root words or those root sounds those three are going to be used for anything that has to do with cutting, severing, um, you know, the cut of a tree. So this is going to be um, a cut of a tree. And so, um, in order to cut the tree, we have to use a tool. So we have an alni tamahigan, and an alni tamahigan is a tomahawk. And so that's going to be um, our native tomahawk. So it's going to be our native axe. Um, and so alni, uh, we've learned um, alnomba, and so we've learned that aln, a l n, the aln is a root word for um, Indian or for um, common or usual. And so that tomahawk is going to be our common axe. It's going to be our native axe for native people um, here. So it's alni temahigan. And so we needed an alni temahigan in order to cut this uh, masqua mozi right here, or in order to cut this abazi. And one of the common um, words that you can refer that to and remember easily is uh, the word for beaver, because beavers do cut trees. Um, they are called tree cutters, uh, tamakwa. Um, so this is, um, you know, Tamakwa is the beaver, cut, uh, the tree cutter. It's called the beaver. Um, and so Alni Temahigan would be our, our way of cutting the tree, just like a beaver. Okay, and here we have um, an example of what happens when your um, Masqua Mozi has, um, has died. <laughs> so we have Abazi for tree, and we have Abazi for wood. Um, but essentially wood uh, in the form of abazi, because abazi is a live wood, um, it's going to be um, for when your tree is, your, your wood is still alive. Um, so even after it's cut down, it's still kind of fresh. And so if it's uski, it's still going to be abazi. 
Um, it's still going to be wood. Here's a, a couple of examples of um, what happens when um, when you've got this um, decayed dried wood here. And so this is still going to be um, Masqua Mozi. Um, you can tell because it's got the Wombi, um, the, the color here, the white color. Um, the, and it's got the Masqua or Masquao. Um, so it's got the thin bark. Um, and um, so we would call this, because it kind of looks like it's firewood, we would call this a wazanol. Um, and it's definitely um, a wazanol, it's dead, so it's got the AL ending, which um, signifies that it's no longer alive. Um, and so a wazon would just be like one piece of firewood right here, like that's one piece of firewood. Um, and then all of this would be multiple pieces of firewood, so that's going to be a wazanol. Um, and so then... Um, I wanted to mention that awazo or awazi, um, th that awazi is to warm yourself. Awazo is like when somebody warms themselves. Um, and so that's going to be a root word as well. Um, and so that's just something to consider that that's how that um, firewood has been related there. Um, and essentially what these are, um, these little ones, because obviously that's not a tree trunk. Um, it's been cut. Um, it's a branch. And so that's going to be um, Piscauntquin, Piscauntquin, uh, Piscauntquin. Um, and then um, this one's really, really straight, right? That one right there. I'm having trouble touching it and doing this at the same time. Um, and so that's going to be um, Sasagigek. That's a straight branch. Sasagigek, Piscauntquin. Um, whereas um, this one right here, Right here with the mushrooms on it. That's going to be longita. So that's bent, longita or bend. And I just wanted to also show you um, about the bark. And that is um, so we have masqua, um, and it's called. It's named after ma uh, masqua mozi, or it's basically uh, we have birch tree and then we have birch bark. But we also have. Um, like I said, we use the word masqua for um, just thin bark, you know, wasabi um, bark at, uh, in general. And so I want to show you um, what cherry bark looks like as well. And so for those of you who maybe aren't known quahid, uh, node quahid, um, node quahid, uh, if you're not tree cutters or woodworkers, um, this is what a cherry tree looks like or um, it's close enough to a wild cherry anyway. It still has the lenticels on it, the little circles that are on the bark. It's really thin, similar. So you're going to, we're still also going to call it, um, masqua or, um, masqual if you have lots of bark. And so this, um, this tree is also called masquazimen aquam. So, um, the men that's in there is referred to the cherry seed. Um, and so like the cherry that we eat, we eat the cherries. And so it's called cherry tree. So it's got the word for cherry in there. So masquazimen aquam. Masquazi Menequam. Masquazi Menequam. And so that's going to be it for part one. It's getting a long video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully um, we got some of these words um, worked out for what the different meanings are. And, um, and again, I just wanted to um, make sure I got this uh, lesson done for my Nod Quahit. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this one and uh, check out part two.